Now that season four has rolled around, we can finally get our hands on the car 98K and bring it into zombies to see if it's any good. Let's go test it out. So our first game here with the car, I'm gonna be testing out to see if it has any pack-a-punch ability with the gun, how good it is, and we'll be unlocking the camos for it. And if we can get all that done, we'll be heading into the Dark Aether as well. If not, we can just hop into another game, no big deal, and get it done. But I really wanna get the camos done for this, because if you can see right here, if we get 250 frost damage kills, we get the Viscous Violence camo, which is a nice, vibrant purple camo that kind of reminds me of Dark Aether. But first, let's see how it's doing unpack-a-punched, unupgraded. Looks like it's a one-shot kill to the head for these zombies. And I've been using this mainly in multiplayer in warzone getting it leveled up and it's a lot of fun in both modes uh it's breaks armor in warzone and then kills after that so it's a two-shot kill and then in multiplayer it's a one-shot kill to the head or like upper chest which is what it seems like here in zombies against these tier two zombies it's not really doing a whole lot yeah they're just eating shots to the head it doesn't look like this is scaling unpack a punch unupgraded and i don't think it's gonna do any more against some tier three zombies so I'm throwing on a legendary Aether tool and a pack to crystal. So we went from five bullets to still five bullets. Our reserve went up a bit, but what is it doing now? Looks like it's doing way more damage. I'm not seeing any special ability on it. No explosive like we saw on our Morse sniper, but it is doing more damage. Uh, what about a body shot? Still killing in a body shot. Not on armor though. So it looks like it also struggles against armor like it does in Warzone, but it breaks it in one shot. So definitely be going for the head. Wait, this zombie's got a helmet. Does it break the helmet or just kill him? It breaks the helmet. Yikes. Not the end of the world, though. Seems like it reloads pretty fast, even without speed cola. So this is the reload without speed cola. Very fast. I don't see how that can get any faster. Let's pop on speed cola real quick. Seems like it still bolts around the same speed, and the reload is just insanely fast. Like, blink and you'll miss it. Holy shit. So the five bolts in this don't really matter. You're just shooting like crazy anyways. Definitely could benefit from some MAGA holding, but right now it don't seem bad. Let's go ahead and throw on our cryo freeze here. Get the rest of our perks going and let's uh, try this tier two bounty. Let's see what the damage can do against the HVT. We're starting out with a disciple here. Can we do any good damage to him? So far, not really. But we got to see what we can do after the mask is broken. I think pathing still might be a bit off here because the disciple has no idea where we're at. If you could just stay still, sir. There we go. Broke the mask. Oh, the damage ain't crazy on this. I like legendary pack too. We should be doing a lot more. But I don't know about this so far. I put this on fraud watch. Like we're getting damage on them, but it's very slow. We're just uh, lucky that the zombies pathing is messed up and they're not coming to attack us right now. Cause I don't know if I'd want to be using this against any sort of elites. It could just be disciples that are a little tough to crack. Let's try this against another HVT. Maybe we'll get something different. And it's a mimic. Okay. All right, mimic. Come on out. Why don't you come down here? I can fight you in the light. Or you can just stay right there. That works too. How much damage is that doing? Not a whole lot. Oh shit. Seems to be doing a bit better than it did against the disciple, but I think this might shoot a little bit too slow to be like good against any elites. Even the zombies kind of tank damage from it. That's disappointing. This, it might turn out this weapon's like fun to use in every mode, but zombies. But now it is dead. Right about here. Accidentally used my Aether Shroud, but it's all right. And we're still just a little bit off from getting pack three. So I'm just gonna clean up one more bounty and then we'll get pack three, go see what it's like in tier three. We got the trifecta of elites. So we got a mangler now. Does this one break his helmet first try? Don't look like it. Took three shots just to break helmet. And the base shot right here, look how little damage it's doing. Can I please see your health bar, sir? Sir? Hello? Okay. He's a little shy. But either way, it's taken way too many shots to take this guy down. Like, we're just now at half health after reloading, like, twice. This is bad, dude. This is looking like a very disappointing weapon. I don't know. Maybe when it gets pack three, it'll go crazy. Maybe it'll, it'll scale better with that. All right, give me pack three, and uh, hopefully this does better now. We got some zombies right out here. Don't even one-shot zombies in tier three. Not even to the head. It just stuns them. I can't even imagine against these armored zombies. Hold on. Let me throw a decoy. Okay, so let's see. One shot to break the helmet on the armored. Another shot to kill. So it's the same amount of shots to kill normal zombies as it is fully armored zombies in tier three. That is lame. Why did I have to do my boy like this? I guess give me Jug and uh, some Quick Revive. We're going to need it. Damn, I was so excited to use this gun too. And it looks like it's just uh, kind of ass. The movement speed's not good on it. 
the damage isn't good on it. At least the reload's fast. Because this is as powered up as we can get it. Pack three legendary. And we're getting walloped. Takes two shots just to kill a normal zombie. You would think it would at least have like crazy like critical damage like some weapons we've seen. I was hoping to be on par with like the XRK Stalker. Even though this is a marksman rifle and that's a sniper. Very disappointed right now. At least the camos are good. At least a one-shot Hellhounds has got that going for it. And I'm probably going to end up regretting this, but let's get this a shot against a tier 3 bounty. I couldn't find just a normal abomination to fight, so we got to go for the big one. Let's throw a monkey bomb to start this off. Zombies, leave me alone. Abomination, I'm over here. Let's, uh, let's have a chat. There you go. He's shooting a laser. I can't even see the damage. It's doing nothing. We can't even get a face broke. I'm embarrassed for this gun. This gun's got to have, like, ED. Get this car 98 a blue chew immediately. This shit is now hard enough for tier 3. I don't even think it's worthy of taking into the Dark Aether, but we're still going to do it. Assuming we can get a rift. Holy shit, we still don't even have a face broke. There we go. It took two lasers in probably 45 shots. I feel like this has to be bugged. This Does this, like, not scale at all with Pack-A-Punch? We've seen bugs like this before, like, with our model 1887s. Those didn't even reload properly. This definitely got the reloading part down. Don't got the damage part down. Not even close. The only thing we got down is ourselves. I'm still committed to killing this bastard, though. You better drop me a rift so I can go get my camos done before we go to the Dark Aether. Like, look how little damage we got done. I'm... Maybe... I'll, I'll throw, go out on a limb and say maybe it's the barrel we have on here. Because I chose, like, the fastest ADS barrel. Maybe that really tanked the damage for it. But this is just appalling. I think I would have killed this thing faster using the, the Christmas event snowballs. Not even joking. I just need to do an elf collab so we can get a snowball launcher gun. I'll do more than this shit. Can we get the middle face broken at least? Nope. Come on. You know that thing wants to break. Almost got him to half health after fucking 10 minutes of fighting. There's another laser. This is like the third laser we've gone for on the middle head. And it's finally broken. And one more head to go. It's probably going to take four lasers minimum. Oh shit, he can fly now. Why don't you fly out of your little zone and start healing, pal? We don't need that. If he regains any kind of health, it'll take years off my life. I think it already is starting to. I can feel myself aging. There we go. Come on. Go down. This is lame. We have somebody else coming over here. You want to give me some charity and help me shoot this thing? No, he's just going. He's on his own. He didn't even notice us. It's just so little damage, we're probably invisible. Other players have no idea of our existence. Maybe this will be his last laser, but I doubt it. Almost. Maybe one more. You got one more of those in you? We've already done three lasers so far. There we go. Last laser. Hopefully. Beautiful. Only took 800 shots, and we got our sigil. Thank God. All right. Let's go knock our camos out. This is ridiculous. Actually, before we do that, where are my manners? How could I forget our sweet baby, the disciple, the stormcaller? Can we do anything to him? I'm not going to sit here and fight him for a half hour if we're not doing nothing. But I just want to see what happens after we break his mask. Can we get him going a little bit? Can we even break his hand, stop him from healing? We can. Mask going to take a few more shots than that, though. And he's even turning around from us to stop us from shooting his hand. You're a dick. I'm hitting this nuke. I don't even care. Give me the nuke. We need these zombies out of here. Still haven't broken his mask. There we go. Finally broken. What kind of damage are we doing now? Zombies, please. Make like a tree and fuck off. You know what? That's it. Stormcaller for you. Storm whatever the fuck this is called. Scorcher. Are we doing any damage? Look how little that is. I feel like this does not scale with Pack-A-Punch. This has to be a bug. No way it's this bad. Yeah, I am not wasting my time with them. Let's just... A few more shots just to make sure I'm not hallucinating. What about now? Yep. Barely anything. All right. You're going to live a long, healthy life, pal. I'm definitely not getting in the way of that. Maybe this will be like the Storm Ender where it's just a monster in Tier 1. And does nothing anywhere else. Can I not grab this Outlast contract? Nice. Not only is the gun not work, but neither do the contracts. Please? What if I say nicely? Come on. All right, whatever. Does this one work? Yep. And just out of curiosity, does this do anything against mercs? Looks like it. Still don't even break merc armor. 
I'll just take these guys out so they don't end up bothering me. I one shot the counter UAV despite doing no damage. We're going to have to like revisit this gun later once they tell us that it's broken. Let's start this up. We'll see if the tracking works on these outlasts because it definitely wasn't working on the bounties. And what do we need to do here? 250 kills of frost damage, 250 kills of four perks active, and we need to get zombies in a single shot 30 times. Looks like they're tracking us for now. We just got to really focus on these collats and then the rest is just easy money. Oh, they're funneling to me perfectly right here. I can always get three kills as long as I wait for the first one to get to the door. Okay, maybe not. They're just a little bit off. I always think I'm doing something. I think I, I got something down. And then Kai just decides to stop me. And also, if you're wondering what all these DNA things are for, there's an event going on kind of similar to uh, the skull event that we got. Like, what was it? Season two? We had to collect like zombie skulls, mimic skulls, things like that. Now you have to collect DNA strands and a lot of the rewards, not that great. Hate to say it. At least it's something, you know? Oh, there's like 250 kills. Where's our perk kills? Oh, it might be a little bit. I, we popped our, popped our perks a little late. There's our 250 kills of frost damage. That's the cam I was looking for. There's our 250 kills with four perks. Now just our collats and we're done. Actually, I don't even know if we'll get gold if we end up going to the Dark Aether and coming out with it. I think we might have to get 100 kills while in the Dark Aether and that might be the biggest challenge of the day. And so much for doing multiple games. I don't think this thing's worth multiple games. Not until we, we get a, a written apology for how ass this weapon is. Oh, and there's our three kills in a single shot. All right. All of our base camos are done. I just want to earn a bit more money for some cashmeres because I feel like we're definitely going to need those in the Dark Aether. And then we can go on in. Please do not crash on me, game. Been good so far, this update. Usually at the, the start of a season is when all the crashes are, are very prevalent. I haven't gotten anything yet. Knock on wood. And the zombies have tracked me the entire time here in Tier 1. So you know what? I'll, I'll give them props to that. They fixed whatever was causing that issue. Makes camo grinding way easier. Can we do something against the Tier 2 bounty now that we're fully pack a punch? Took us a few shots to even break his mask. He looks way different. No hood on him. Shot the hood right off him. No shiesty for you. It does a little bit more damage, but still, this thing's disappointing as hell. It's still not even one shot tier two zombies at max damage. He's finally dead. He can't hurt us anymore. And there's a cashmere. He knew exactly what we we're looking for. Dude, I'm spitting. All right. We're going to the Aether, and I'm going to the Season 2 Aether. Because if I'm getting anything out of this game, it's going to be a MAGA holding, hopefully. Let's uh, peel off the Band-Aid. Let's go right for the bounty to start this. Please don't be an abomination. Okay, it's a Mimic. Actually, that might be worse. I don't think this is going to do well against any of them. So as long as it got less health, I'm fine with it. Can I shoot him through this? I can. Does he know I'm here? Yep. It was, it was worth a shot. Worth a try. And we're barely doing anything to this guy. Holy shit. They could not have made this thing worse for zombies. This is going to take a while. It's going to take a lot of shots. He's just eating these. Actually, you know what? Cluster mine. Enjoy. I didn't even think the cluster mine hit him. Well, those zombies just ate it all. We almost got him to half health, though. We're making some progress. Let's just tr try really hard not to lead him out of his zone because I do not need him healing. Like we talked about before with the abomination, him healing is going to take years off my life. I'm hitting them with thermites. Have those. Let's get some more back. Eat them. Enjoy them. Almost got them there. Only about like a quarter of his health left. Come on. Should only take uh, 70 more shots. Oh, shit. All right, you get one in. That's it. Okay, maybe two. But you're dead right here. And I'm not going to hear another word about it. There we go. No Maggle holding. Awesome. But Shatter Blast. That should help us get our kills. Finally take off the Cryo Freeze. At least it looks like they've partially fixed the, the texture bug in the Dark Aether. Where the whole city's not disappearing. Like, I still see textures missing and everything. Like, the walls over there kept disappearing. That's not as bad as the entire city here going away. Anyways, we'll start the Outlast. Let's see if we can survive. I doubt it. Probably going down at least once here. And that's uh, being generous. I'm going to do the strat of throwing a Thermite here. Throwing a Thermite here. And hopefully that does enough to kill him. And they'll drop me another one. And spawn in some more disciples, why don't you? We don't, we don't have enough here. What was there, like five of them? Shit, make it ten. See if I care. We did complete the contract, though. Very surprisingly. Are these motherfuckers gonna die? Thank you. No MAGA holding, though. Actually, didn't go down, though. But we didn't go down. We exceeded expectations for that. Oh, now the city's disappearing. I spoke too soon. Let's start up the last contract and get out of here. This one we don't even need the car for. All we need is a little cashmere. 
let me interact with it right away. Maybe that's a bug that's been fixed. Because every other time I go up to it, I interact. It'll pull out the little tablet thing and nothing will happen. Let's see if we can get two for two. Looks like it. Awesome. And let's see if we, we're batting 100 here. Three for three. Yep. Wow. It's the little things. Let's throw another one in Mag of Holding, please, for me. Nope. Elder Sigil, though. I guess that's all right. Now let's try to get our kills. Can this weaken them enough for me to shoot them with this? Nope. They're already dead before I can pull it out. Let's just make sure we get 100 kills with this before we leave. I don't know how we're going to count that, but I'm just going to get kills until I feel like uh, we got it. You know what the best of thing is? I don't think I've seen a single insta-kill this whole game, which would have actually made this viable and made getting these cameras a little bit easier. I've seen every other power-up, but no insta-kill. Oh, we finally got an insta-kill. Wow. Look how nice this weapon could be. This is how it should be. Makes it so much better. But it's not going to last. Unfortunately, all good things come to an end. And now it sucks again. I finally feel like I'm at 100 kills. I'm out of here. Please say I got Golden Enigma. Did we get it? Any after action report? Nope. We'll have to check it the old-fashioned way. Oh, we did get it. Thank God. Oh, and I forgot about Zircon Scale and Serpent's Knight. Okay, maybe we do have to play more than one game with it. At least we got this out of it. This is our viscous, vicious, whatever. It kind of looks like a pack-a-punch camo, but not animated. It's like a, a static pack-a-punch camo. Very nice. One of my favorite camos added in this season. Take a nice look at it. Uh, but this time around, I changed up the attachments a little bit. So we have a more damage range barrel. And I even threw on an ammo type. And I know ammo types don't really do a whole lot. I think incendiary rounds actually work now. But outside of that, they are kind of useless. But uh, I'm, I'm trying to hold out hope that this is actually worth using. Out of curiosity, can we still not one-shot an armored zombie in tier two? Nope. I don't think the attachments had anything to do with it. That's so lame. Why does it struggle so bad against armor? There's no reason. These zombies aren't in war zone. They don't need the extra protection. Looks like we'll be grinding out our Zircon skill in tier one. So much about the zombies tracking being back to normal. Looks like it's still messed up. Only a few zombies actually know where I am. They're still dazed and confused. No idea what's what. Oh, there's Zircon. Zircon Ds. Just need our elite kills now. And we'll probably never touch this again. Unless it's updated. At least not in zombies. This thing's butt cheeks. We just need one more mangler. Where are you at? Spawn, please. There he is. See you, buddy. Give me serpent tonight. There's a rank up. Oh, devil level. Bars. And serpent tonight. That should be Borealis as well. Now right, let's get out of here. And just go through the camos one more time. This is the viscous, vicious, or whatever the hell. The third camo you get for getting all the frost damage with the car. Honestly, very good camo. And in a little bit of better lighting here. It's a little bit more vibrant. Nicer looking camo. And this is what our car looks like with Borealis on it. Was not that fun of a journey to get here. It's a decent weapon in tier one. Outside of that, pretty ass. Not gonna lie. I hope they buff it because this is, this is actually terrible. I wish it was better. I, I really do. Because uh, one of my favorite guns ever. Terrible. But there's not much to be said that I haven't already said about this weapon while playing with it. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support. And I will see you in the next one. Later.